Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I want to show you the most effective way I've found to rig up Z-Man jerk shads. Now, these that I have here, these are the four inch uh, jerk shads in the Slam Shady color. We do have this color now with Z-Man, so definitely be sure to check that out. And we also sell them on our shop page at fishstrong.com. And if you are one of our insider members, keep in mind that you do get up to a 20% discount on all of the tackle and gear on our page. So be sure to take advantage of that. So with Z-Man baits, you have to understand they are very stretchy. So that elastic material, it can make it difficult to rig on certain hooks, such as the owner twist lock hook. Now it can be rigged up on these, but it takes a little bit of practice and patience. But once it's on there, it works out really well. So first I'll show you how to rig them up on these owner twist lock hooks. And then I'm gonna show you the most effective hook that I found to rig up the Z-Man jerk shads on. So first off, when I am rigging up these jerk shads, I do rig them up in a pretty lightweight weedless presentation because I'm mainly using these lures in less than about four feet of water. So a three aught hook size in about a one eighth to maybe 3 16th or a quarter will be about as heavy as I'll go. Don't really need a lot of weight on there, but you do want a little bit extra weight as opposed to if you were using a standard soft plastic such as the Alabama Lebicon. So let's say if you were using a 1 16th ounce with a standard soft plastic, I would go with a 1 8th ounce with the Z-Man because Z-Man material is much more buoyant, so you're gonna need a little bit more weight to resemble that same action. So first off with the owner twist lock hook. You may have seen this in another video, but go ahead and show you here again. First thing you're gonna do is create a pilot hole in the nose of the bait using the hook point. So just go through the nose of the bait like so. Make sure that hook point is actually penetrated through the plastic. Pull it back out. Then you're going to take that spring on the owner twist lock hook. It has that centering spring right there. You're gonna go through that pilot hole. And now what you wanna do is push that plastic all the way up onto the spring to the eye of the hook. And once you have it there, you wanna keep it pinched while you spin the hook. That's going to spin the spring into the plastic while keeping it pushed up and pinched. Once you've done about five or six turns, I like to go ahead and take my fingers off and see where we're at. Pull on it a little bit. As you can see, there's still a little bit more spring left for that lure to go on. And all you're gonna do is repeat the same thing, push it up a little bit, pinch it, and twist that hook to get that spring nice and deep into that lure. So that's pretty good there. I can back it off a little bit. Make sure your lure is straight. You want it straight to be streamlined so it doesn't helicopter when you're retrieving it. And there you go. You have the Z-Man jerk shads rigged up on an owner twist lock hook. Now the best hook overall that I've found for these Z-Man jerk shads is going to be a Mustad grip pin. As you can see, the weight is on the belly of the hook. There's also a keeper on the top of the hook near the eye where the bend of the hook is. That helps keep your bait from sliding down, you know, it helps keep that nose from sliding down the hook. But that's a nice thing about these Z-Man baits is that you can slide them over the weight very easily because of how stretchy they are. So these are pretty much like swim bait hooks, but they make your bait weedless. They have the weight on there for a nice keel to your bait to give it really good action. So you're just gonna rig these up like you normally would on a worm hook or wide gap hook. You're gonna go through the nose of the bait, out through the bottom. Then you're just gonna slide the nose of the bait over that weight. As you can see here, slides over that uh, weight pretty easily. Doesn't rip the bait up. Push it up over that keeper, like so. Then you're just going to rig it weedless, go through the slot. These do have a slot in the belly to slide the hook up into, come out of the top of the bait, and then just lay that hook on top of the back of the bait. Then you can push the bait forward, pull it back into the point of the hook to give, uh, give it a little bit of a weedless presentation there. Just barely skin hook it. And there you go, rigged up on the uh, Mustad grip pin hook. And this is gonna be the easiest way to rig them up if you get pretty impatient with the owner twist lock hooks. Also, these baits do come in a four and a five inch size, and the size hook, the three-aught size, works well for both baits. 
So this is a five inch side. This is a different color, but we do have uh, both sizes in Slam Shady color. Five inch up top and then the four inch down below. Now the four inch, this would be a good pretty much year round size for a lure. When you get into, you know, late summer and into fall, that's when I would go with the five inch, the bigger presentation, because those fish are more dialed in on bigger baits that time of year. So hopefully this video can help you out if you are trying to find the best way to rig up the Z-Man Jerk Shads. Again, we do have them in the Slam Shady color now at fishstrong.com. You can pick them up. And again, if you are an insider member, you do get up to 20% off all tackle and gear on the shop page. Now, in addition to, you know, properly rigging up your lures, making sure you have the right presentation, what's gonna be really important is actually finding fish. So if you're having trouble finding fish out there on the water, you're coming home skunked, highly recommend checking out our Salt Strong Insider Club where we guarantee you'll start catching more inshore fish. So definitely be sure to check that out at saltstrong.com. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please feel free to leave them down below. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.